Okay, what you're looking at here is a Utah certificate of title for a car. Well, actually a truck, but they look the same. Now, what you want to know if you're going to be selling your car, there's a few things that you want to know. First of all, you want to have the title. And if your car isn't paid off, chances are the bank or whatever financial institution lent you the money has the title in their possession. They are the lien holder. I'll just go ahead and zoom in. On here so up here you see the details of the car now you want to make sure that the title that you have matches that right here is the VIN number and the VIN number is located um, usually up by the windshield of the car um, you want to make sure that those match chances are they do but if you're bought being the if you're the buyer you definitely want to make sure those match otherwise you're gonna have problems so here's the personal information. Um, well, the owner information right here would be the bank information if it was the lien holder. And then there's more lien holder information. To know if your car has been released from the lien or the loan, um, it would give you this information here. It would be signed, title of the signer, the institution, and also the date. If it's not, you need to contact your bank. Um, you can order another title if you wish that is free of liens, but you don't need to um, so long as it's released. Now, um, let's go to the back of the page. The back of the title is where you're going to spend most of your time in selling the car um, and filling out. So there's just a few things. You used to need a notary public uh, to notarize. You don't need that anymore. Um, the buyer should not sign anything until this is filled out and the seller has filled out their information there as well as here. So this whole section right here needs to be filled out by the seller. All this information should be, um, aside from the signature, printed. Then this section here is filled out by the buyer. It's all pretty straightforward, just contact information. Um, you also need to include a bill of sale and that could be anything, any piece of paper with the name of the seller, what they're selling, how much they pay or how much they're selling it for, the buyer, um, and the date. So pretty much a receipt. And once all this is filled out and the transaction's done, um, this whole form, the, the Utah Certificate of Title, goes to the buyer, who then takes it to the DMV and registers the car in their name. So hopefully that helps you. This section here, the reassignment of title, if you're selling your car to a private party, um, you don't need to worry about this. This is for someone who just bought a car and is basically flipping the car so um and then the other thing that's worth pointing out is according to utah law other states do not have this as a law in fact the plates stay with the car but in utah the owner is required to move the license plates uh, remove them and uh, so just keep that in mind when you sell your car Hopefully that answers some of your questions in selling your car and how to fill out the Utah title for a car. Thanks for watching.